Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of my quick, simple meals at home. Just upscale the ingredients for two or three people. You will need only what you see on the screen for this recipe. Today, I'm sharing how to make a tasty pizza with a wood smoky taste using the Ninja wood fire. This recipe is simple yet satisfying and perfect for a quick lunch or dinner. Smoked pizza has that smoky flavor you can't get when baking in the oven. These pizzas are made with store-bought frozen pizza dough, fresh ingredients, and bold flavor from the spicy chorizo sausage. Once you make pizza on a smoker or grill, you will never return to baking pizza in the oven again. Depending on how much time you have to prepare your frozen pizza dough, I will go through a couple of methods. So we've got two dough balls in this box, which will be suitable for 10 to 12 inch pizzas. If you have time, you can prepare them overnight by defrosting them in the fridge, or if you're short on time, you can do the same day method using your microwave oven. Okay, so the first method is the overnight method. So I'm going to take frozen pizza dough. We will take it out of the clear wrapper, place it into a bowl like this, cover it, and put it in the fridge for at least 24 hours overnight. Take it out of the fridge about 4 hours before you need it, and leave it to proof at room temperature at approximately 20 degrees Celsius. So the same day method is when you're short on time. Take a dough ball out of the freezer, place it into a bowl as before, cover it up, and microwave it for 10 seconds on full power. Turn the dough ball over and repeat. Then, leave it in a covered bowl for around 6 hours at approximately 20 degrees Celsius to come to room temperature. I'm a big fan of preparing my pizza toppings ahead of time and keeping them in the fridge until I need them. That way, I can just grab them and put them on the pizza dough when I'm ready to bake. For this pizza, I'm going to use some ham, green peppers, red onion and chorizo sausage. They are all yummy and make the pizza taste amazing. Don't worry too much about cutting your topping into perfect pieces. Just make sure they are chunky enough to handle the heat. If they are too thin, they might get crispy or charred in the oven. You want them to be juicy and flavorful, not dry and bitter. You can choose any toppings you like, but here are some ideas to inspire you. How about a classic margarita with tomato sauce, mozzarella and basil? Or a spicy meat lovers with pepperoni, sausage and jalapenos? Or a tropical Hawaiian with ham, pineapple and cheese? Just spread the dough, add the sauce and the toppings, and bake them until they're golden and bubbly. It's easy and fun. Soon, we'll have a delicious pizza. Now, we're going to slice our chorizo sausage. You can use a sharp knife or a mandolin, but be careful not to cut yourself. We want thickish slices that will char nicely in the oven. But first, we'll peel off the paper casing that covers the chorizo. This is important because the paper can burn and ruin the flavor of our dish. Use your fingers to gently pull it off, or use a small knife to make a slit and then peel it away. Now, we have our chorizo slices ready to go. If you want to make your chorizo sausage cook faster, try slicing it in half as I am doing before putting it on your pizza. This way, you can get a nice char on all corners and avoid undercooking the sausage. Plus, you'll have more surface area to enjoy the spicy and smoky flavor of the chorizo. It's a simple trick that can make a big difference to your meal. Seal your storage container and put it in the fridge until you can use it. This will help preserve the freshness and quality of your food. What's the point in having a ninja wood fire if you don't use the smoker setting? So, let's get the ninja wood fire fired up. Just a quick heads up before I turn it on. Check we've enough pellets in the hopper. Don't want to run out of fuel halfway through the cook. We're going to turn it to the smoker setting. We're going to take this temp to 200C or 390F. Before we get the pizza on there, we want to go over what we're doing here. We'll cook it at high heat but still use the smoker setting. So, we will turn up the smoker setting to 200C or 390F. We're just going through the ignition and preheat stages. This should take about 10 minutes. So, back in a few minutes. Okay, let's make our pizza base while our ninja wood fire is preheating. Flour your work surface and grab our ball of dough that's been proving at room temperature. To prevent the dough from sticking, I use a silicon spatula to ease the dough gently from the edges. The silicon material is flexible and smooth, so it won't damage the dough or the container. I carefully lift the dough and let it slide out onto my floured surface. 
The dough is soft and elastic, ready to be shaped into our pizza base. Press to flatten it into a thin rectangular shape. The next step is to remove the excess flour from the area where you are working. To do this, you need to gently lift the dough and place it over your arm, to shake off any loose flour that sticks to it. Then, use your free hand to scrape away any remaining flour from the work surface. This will prevent excess flour from sticking to the dough and ruining your pizza. Next, we need to spread the sauce. Use a spoon to scoop some sauce from the pot, and swirl it around the dough. Make sure to leave some space around the edges for the crust. Let's quickly look at our ninja wood fire and see how hot it is. By now, it should be 200 C or 395 degrees for the perfect crust. The dimensions of my pizza base are 11 inches in width and 10 inches in length. This is a standard size for a rectangular pizza that can serve two people. The thickness of the base is about a quarter of an inch, which gives it a crispy texture and a light flavor. Before you start assembling your pizza, make sure you wipe the worktop to remove any flour. Place your pizza board on the worktop. You are now ready to build your pizza and add your toppings. As you can see, the pizza base has already taken on some of the smoke, giving it a distinctive, rich flavor and aroma. You can also see the color change and light-colored char marks on the edges of the dough. The first step is to add our cheese and place it evenly over the pizza base. Here, I'm using supermarket pre-sliced mozzarella, but grated or ball mozzarella works just as well. The next step is to place the ham I had sliced over the mozzarella cheese. Then, evenly spread a generous handful of the chopped red onion and green pepper to fill the spaces between the other ingredients. Topped off with our spicy chopped chorizo, use as little or as much as you fancy, and your pizza is ready for the final bake. The wood pellets produce a lot of smoke that enhances the taste of our pizza. The smoke gives the pizza a smoky and aromatic flavor that is hard to replicate with other methods. The wood pellets are also eco-friendly and easy to use. Yes, I think our pizza is done. It's the only frozen pizza dough recipe you will ever need. This was done in the Ninja wood fire. Now, let's get our pizza on this cutting board. As you can see, here is the pizza. It looks really, really tasty. Our nice and crispy crust is looking good all the way around. So, if you like this and made it this far, give this video a thumbs up. So here is your pizza. Again, this was a frozen pizza dough recipe. Let's go and take a bite of this crust. That crust is nice and soft. It's crispy and has a super delicate smoky flavor like it melts in your mouth. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please show your support by liking this video and commenting below. I would love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future videos. It helps me grow this channel and reach more people. I appreciate your time. Thank you.